the cost of software is roughly equivalent to the cost of change. That's that observation about we spend most of the money in software development on maintenance, which is just, in the XP world, we took this entirely all the way and said, instead of spending 70% on maintenance, what if we spent 99% on maintenance? That seems like a good number. We'll just get it in production and then build it up from there. And then we're mostly making changes, but the cost of change, all changes don't cost the same amount. The cost of change is approximately equal, and I'll explain why in just a second, to the cost of big changes. Now, what do I mean by big changes? Um, if you made a histogram of the cost of changes, this is the count of the number of changes that you make, and uh, this is the cost. That's supposed to be a euro sign. This is the minus of handwriting slides. This is my, um, my drawing handwriting sucks, so. Oh well, so. If we make a histogram, what it's going to look like is this. We're going to have lots and lots of little changes that are cheap, and we're going to have a few changes that are really expensive. What are those, what's the nature of those changes? And here's where coupling, as defined just here, is really helpful. What makes changes really expensive is not just the change, it's I change this, so I have to change those, so I have to change those, so I have to change those. It's this cascading effect. Now, if you've looked at complexity theory, you're going to recognize a power law distribution here. And it's the exact same mechanism as causes avalanches and hurricanes. You know, most avalanches is, is just one snowflake falls over. And that's it, and nothing else happens. But there's a non-zero chance that one snowflake falling over is going to cause two more snowflakes to fall over. And each of those has a non-zero chance of causing two more and more and more. So if you make a histogram of the size of avalanches, most of them are just going to be one snowflake falling over, and that's that. And there's a bajillion of those happening all the time, and you don't really notice but you notice the one that comes sweeping through the village and wipes everything off the map. And those happen every once in a while. The more changes, the more extreme both of the ends of this are gonna be. So when we have way more changes, we're going to have many, many more small changes and the most expensive change is going to be much, much more expensive. In software, what conducts the cost of, of a change is exactly coupling. If A and B are coupled, then when I change A, I have to change B. And if B is coupled to C and D, then I'm going to have to change C and D and, 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 and. The thing about power law distributions is a big percentage of the cost is in this tail. Even though this is a small number of changes, in an absolute number, the cost of that compared to the cost of all the rest of it, that tail is really expensive. So coupling is important because the less coupled your system is, the less likely the changes are to propagate, the less extreme the cost of these most expensive changes is, the longer you can last uh, continuing to change the software. 